just bought a little tiny 5x5 storage unit for $60. And oh, I got some interesting stuff to tell you about this one. It's pretty full for 60 bucks, so I'm really excited. Let's get in there. Before we get into this one, we just paid for it downstairs and the person down there asked us, let them know what's in there because the person that lost this called here and was throwing a fit and they were loud and mad. So they're genuinely curious what's in here, which of course, you know, to me, that just made this 10 times more interesting than it was. So let's start pulling some stuff out and see what they're so mad about. First box here, what is that? Kitchen just stuff. Kitchen stuff, the yeah. typical in every storage unit, little pizza pan and kitchen stuff. This is yard sale stuff, is what I call it. Let's see what's in here. Oh, that's a big box. Come here, come here. So what are these? Shoes, purses, one shoe. Oh yes. This explains everything. Why were they so mad? Because there's some instant ramen. ramen. <laughs> Obviously. Ramen. All right, what is that? Homecoming. All right, so this too, they had a whole meal. They had a water, they had ramen. They were ready. Let's see. Ooh, this purse is full of paper, ain't it? Let's see if there's any gift cards or money in there. Usually not money, but gift cards is definitely something we found a lot of inside of storage units. What are these guys? Uh, I don't know what that is. You see them? Yeah. They're like weird little capsules or liquid. There's liquid in them, but it's like this big with liquid in it. That's very shady. Somebody enlighten me. If that shouldn't be shady. <laughs> pill. When you see the label ripped off the pill bottle, I'm instantly suspicious. Okay, the rest of the purse, there's some change down there, but yeah, the rest of it's junk, so let's get it out the way. Just a bag. There's a lot of purses in here, actually. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, what's in this sparkly container? How do I open it? Oh. Ooh. Oh, that looks silver. Never mind. Look at that. But it's still costume jewelry. So still nice. Uh, let's see, little bag here. Brand new calculator. Oh, did they even have some alcohol to go with it? Is that alcohol? Grape juice. Oh, grape juice, Never mind. See, they had it to go with their ramen too. More purses, what's this? Ah, see, that's for that's a... <laughs> after. You get the meal, and this is for afterwards. The whole cor Coors or Cool, is that two different things? Coors Light? Coors Light and Cool's Light, is that two different I beers? I don't think Cool's Light is warm. Okay, don't drink here, sorry, to all the beer people they're like what an idiot <laughs> some makeup in there Ooh, look another necklace where's that part of the purse that's part of the purse never mind what is that you see this thing wrapped up yeah uh, it's like a little makeup thing boo what else what else big bag that's a gift box this is a hollywood luxury color lenses what is it contacts yep all right all right the rest of it another thing of ramen See, I've already figured out why they're mad. I hope the audio is okay right now. There's a giant fan down there. You wanna know what's messed up? When we first got here, look above us. This is a giant AC unit for this. So it was so loud. At first, I didn't know what I was gonna do. And I happened to notice this little guy on the wall right here, the thermostat, and I was like, hmm. So I took a wrapping paper out of there and pressed the button on there and it beeped really loud. I thought it was about to blow. I was getting ready to dart. But then it turned off. And like, if, it, if I go to jail for murder or something, I want you all to know what happened. That's why I'm putting this out here. So if this thing blows up, that's what it was. But we had to get that fan off so we can record a video. So it's all worth it. But look at that. A Dell PC. Ooh, Windows Vista. <gasps> no! Why weren't those in there? I would've eaten them right now, not even joking. I would've ripped them right out of there and eaten them. So then we got a remote. What's in here? That's junk. This is paper junk. What is a tree? What is this supposed to be? Uh, you're, supposed, you're supposed to have an answer for me. <laughs> um, I, maybe they go on a vase, just like decoration. Okay, there we go. I'll take that. Cause I didn't have nothing. Some party supplies down here. Look, some brand new frozen napkins, frozen plate. What's this guy? That's somebody's picture. There's quite a bit of brand new frozen stuff down there. There's frozen invitations over here. Frozen box with something in it. No, with nothing in it. Let's pull out the blue tote. Something in here smells really good. I don't know what it is. 
but it smells really good. So this is all paper. I don't want to look at paper. Shoebox. What is that? Pills? Pills and paper. Two of my favorite things. Two of my favorite things. This whole thing, is this their paper tote? There's always one paper box. It's looking that way, isn't it? Yeah. Every storage unit has at least one or two paper boxes. Ah, masks. Uh, more masks. Is this all junk? Oh, there's some little random crafting thingies and stuff like that in here. Some old pretty shoes. What is that? Called? Makeup. Yeah, this is, that's, there's a broken plate down there too. That's new silverware. All right, some silverware. So maybe these guys had a party plan that never happened. I'm guessing, but look over here. There's even more like brand new party stuff. It looks like it's a party stuff, at least to me, that we're going like a table. Candle holders. Hey, look, skewers. There's a lot more down here too. And more silverware. So again, yard sale. Now I got this next kind of smushed box here. It says kitchen on it. Let's see if that's what it is. It doesn't look like it to me, but we're gonna see. Um, kitchen. This is what I personally like to fry my food in here. This is what I put my drinks in. Like, do these people store their clothes in the kitchen? Yeah, that's just a bunch of clothes that we're just gonna drop off for donation right after we leave here. Let's pull off the green tub at the bottom now. Yeah. All right, let's see. I love just black bags of mystery. Not like that, I don't. Um, well, is that all that's in here? Holy... Okay, no, there's some stuff under it. What do we have? A weaving loom. Some Christmas stuff. Christmas. Look at that, an eye scan. FM radio. This is for when you couldn't get an iPod when you were a kid. You had this. At least you look like you did. Uh, coffee mug. What else is down here? More clothes? Oh look, there's a pack of Crayola crowns. Is it new? Nothing's more satisfying than a new pack of crowns and that smell. Ooh. It is new. Ooh, but somebody broke the orange. But, <sighs> why does it smell so good? I don't know why. Let's see what else is in here. Is this all paper too? Let's see. Ew, that's all hair stuff. What does that say? Discount coupon and clothes. Sweet. Uh, we're gonna put it right there. Whatever's in that box for now at the yard sale. If you come to our yard sale and you see this yellow sticker, you remind us and you can have whatever you want in the box for free. <laughs> Look what I found. Look, get out. You know, I'm not even going to comment on what this might have been used for. I'm really not, but the fact that it's fully extended with a hook on the end is not a good look. Not a good look at all. Let's check out these board games. Is that what they all are? Look at that. Hangman. This is, looks like some of the pieces are coming out of Scrabble here. But Horton, here's a who. Blockbuster movie game night. Hey man, what is this one here? Monopoly's in the middle. Sequence. The newlywed game. Remember that game show? Yeah. So these are, I mean, that's good yard sale stuff. That's all we found so far is good yard sale stuff. But even a dollar a piece, that's a $10 bag right there. So look, I'm getting down this box and you see what we notice up there? Look what that box says. They already beat us to it. It's another yard sale box. <laughs> All right. Yes. This is needed because... Fit for a king. I am the king of storage unit videos on YouTube. King, don't dispute it. Undisputable. Oh, here you go. Just a little queen thing. Yeah. Here you go. That's for you. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes. Now we're good. Now we're good. We rule this with an iron fist. Hey, look. This is my... Oh, gosh. That, that's me. why they were so mad. <laughs> mystery flavor a glue gun some easter egg look at all these crayons not, not crayons crowns, crowns. <laughs> sorry crayolas in my head and more easter stuff so again i feel like it's the 12th time i said this one dollar yard sale stuff right there time for those smaller unmarked box here let's see what's in this one where's my knife at i left it somewhere all right let's see boy paperwork seriously there's a treasure chest hey whoa treasure. um is this all paper seriously little black marker uh yeah this one's quickly looking like all paper is it yeah. this is a why in the you know what did you pay to put that in storage kind of box what about this little copy paper box deep fryer uh never Not mind it looked like it was brand new because <laughs> the plastic but 
that's definitely not brand new but still it's deep fryer again i probably haven't said this once in this video yet but <laughs> that'll probably go to the art sale this little box actually says arts and craft on it and before i open it make sure you leave this video a big fat thumbs up please it helps us out a lot and hit that share button for us and subscribe if you're new let's see what's in here so looks like oh wow this definitely looks like arts and craft look how many of these things are in there these little velvet hand things there's like four or five six of those guys in there what's in here stencils it looks like all stencils another thing of stencils and then a bunch of paint in there they weren't kidding when they said arts and craft were they look in here so what are these these balloons yeah look at these they're balloons with faces on it great for party favors what else would you use a balloon for besides a party please enlighten me <laughs> are these masks oh my gosh should have wore these around when everyone like all the mask mandates like what i got a mask on oh <laughs> uh, some fabric markers a couple boxes of fabric markers uh, is it all that was in here or is there any more underneath of it uh, what's that just some more stuff and then a bunch of loose paint and a couple things of chalk wow this box is like crazy light what is it christmas bows is it all christmas bows christmas bows christmas like tablecloths it's all christmas stuff isn't it yep all the way down but hey what's that besides this blossom hairless hair or something besides some hair extension things it's all christmas stuff but at least it's the end of the year so all the christmas stuff has been flying off like come january the christmas stuff is gonna go back to being dreadful to see please do not lie to me please do not lie to me do not lie to me you see what i see video games please don't lie to me i mean you have clothes in your kitchen box so you're not exactly trustworthy let's see and it's freaking clothes again you liar hey, what's under this i am i am hold on what's this what are these open up well the lights went off over there so more hair things more hair extensions ah these are all clothes is it like two boxes in one yeah but i, don't, I think it's empty on the bottom yeah it Can't is get it off. there's nothing down there it's literally just clothes so kitchen they keep Close in their video game box and they keep closing their kitchen box. Let's pull out a little tote right here and see what's in this guy. Very light. Um, uh, let's see. Little gift box with a oh look, a little packet of poison. See, Merry Christmas. This is what you give to your neighbor. Like me, I'd give this to my neighbor and tell him to eat it. There's a purse. Ooh, maxi pad. I'll give this to her too, because she's like I feel like she permanently needs him 12 months out of the year. If you catch my drift. Ooh, money. Look. Ta -da. Oh, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know why they have a copy of twenty dollar bill. Cupcake. You want a cupcake? That's actually real. Is it? Yes, it's real. You wanna try it? No, no. Oh come on, I'm no. gonna open it. I'm gonna open it for you. If I can figure it out how to open it's okay. It's gonna <laughs> mm. Ugh, it smells why like would... very rotten chocolate. Why would you do that? Smell it. No. Smell it. Don't lie. I don't want it. Why? Come <laughs> on, just taste it. No. It's probably only been in the, let's see if there's an expiration date. It only expired in September 2015. What is that, six years? It should be <laughs> fine still. Just try it. No. Fine. She just made me feel really stupid. It wasn't a Best Buy date. It was a manufacturer date, and that's a candle, not a cupcake. <laughs> but we're just going to pretend none of that happened, and we're just going to move on. It looked real, and it smelled real. I that's Whoa. what got me. What the heck was that? I don't know. These people are trying to get me. That's what I get for buying their storage unit. They're trying to take me out. Let's see. What's in here? Hey. A present! Merry Christmas. Oh, Want me to open you. it for you? Yeah. I All wish right. I could open it. We got you. Brand new airplanes. Check oh, it out. Yes. A brand new airplane set. Yay. See, that's a good present, huh? It is. I knew you. I know what you wanted. I knew airplanes is at the top of your list. What are all these guys? There's tons of these. These are brand new cards. Again, these will all be sold, guaranteed, because it's so close, close to Christmas. People need these things. There's a lot of things in storage units for we, you know, seasonal. Uh, this is all paper. The rest of the bag is legitimately paper and clothes and a couple books. Now let's see what's in there. You know, that? You okay? <laughs> no, not really. You know what? I told you earlier, this is what these people are trying to get me. I just got legitimately hit in the head by the previous owner. That's what they wanted to happen. <laughs> I swear to God, that's, that's my title to this video. Go to the comments and get all the people that are going to be triggered. This video is about to be called 
Old storage unit owner hit me in the face. I mean, they really did. That kind of hurt. I'm not going to lie. But that was too funny not to make fun of. Well, this is tape shut. It says winter stuff and pink coat. My head's not bleeding. You know when you get hit in the head and it feels wet, you kind of get nervous? No. Okay, there's no blood. But yeah, um, I think this might have video games and kitchen stuff in it. So it's their kitchen and video game box. All right, one hour long battle with the tape later. You, you'd think after three years I'd remember to bring a knife every time, but you know, that's way too much to remember for me. They weren't lying, it's actually a pink coat. So they were telling the truth. It feels so soft though. I think I should rock this. I mean, yeah. Xana, it is 2021. It's even a 3X. It might fit me. It's 2021. You better accept me. <laughs> uh, you got more coats and more clothes. So realistically, again, it is starting to get cold out. So the winter clothes, we're just going to donate all the clothes. Let's get down this one now. Let's see what's in this guy. What does that say? Baby. Tara. Oh, no. oh. Well, probably clothes anyway. Oh my God, a bag of eyeballs. Yes. This is what I always wanted with my life. So a bag of eyeballs, family photos. That's what happened. They co she collected her family's eyeballs. That's why she wanted the unit back. It's all making sense now. All of it. There's a book in there, a disc. What is it? Christmas for kids. That's a brand new Barbie clothes kit. There's like a lot of random like junk mixed in with new stuff, which is strange. A bunch of, speaking of new stuff, look. Four, five, six brand new things of markers. And a bunch of little miniature crafting things in here that are all new as well. Look, what's that guy even? These are new. That is new. Why is there so much, like I said, old mixed in with new? It's weird. It makes you always wonder what happens. What's that? Konami Live. It's a minute. This is probably what was supposed to go in the video game box. <laughs> like a $5 plug and play controller. I remember something like that. Frosty the Snowman. What is that supposed to be? I have router? no idea. Is it a router? No, it's got AV ports on it. No idea. I don't know either. This is like carpet, I think. This is like bathroom carpet is what it feels like. Hopefully that's new. This box here just says summer clothes on it and I can shake it and tell you that it's 100% just full of clothes. So we're not going to get into that one. Let's get into this guy. Ugh, let's see what it is. Cause this one's definitely not clothes. Or if it is, it's like weighted clothes or something. What are these all? Uh, go down, you stupid flap. <laughs> so this is all paper stupid right flat. here. What is this, a jacket? Or I thought it was like a tablecloth or something. Uh, Site 732. Nothing in the pocket. So look at all these. You need all trophies. Maybe that's why they were mad, realistically. I know we like to joke and giggle, but look at all these trophies in here. Baseball. Basketball, football. Somebody played like pretty much every sport there ever was. That all that's in here? All trophies. Yeah, seriously, under the towels there's more trophies. That box is nothing but trophies. So yeah, we'll make sure we leave that behind for them to get back. This box says it's an AC unit, but I don't know. It's not as heavy as one. Let's see what it is. This is something again that would not be in season to sell right now because it's just starting to get into like the 50s and 40s finally. Not in here though, because I had to cut the AC off. And in the AC box is the kitchen stuff. All right, so kitchen is the AC as video games are to what? So where would the video games <laughs> be? What was in the video game box? Clothes? Clothes. All right, so when we see something labeled clothes, we know that's probably where the video games are. Let's keep a lookout for it. Let's see what's in the book bag right here. Ooh. It's like extremely heavy to be such a small book bag. Let's see, is it opening right here? No, it's one of those. Oh, there it is. I got it. So I was about to say, it's one of those locks that just don't want to actually open. Is that all? There's money falling out of it. Is it literally a whole book bag full of just paperwork? I'm going to cry here. That's literally all that it is. Like, who in their right mind would pay to store this? Somebody somewhere decided, let's put this book bag full of junk mail in the storage and pay for it. Why? Let's bring out these two little guys. Well, little guy number one, you can see here, it's a bunch of like party cups, more frozen. That's for the kids section. That's for the adult section. Make some margaritas or something. So that's all that's in there. Again, yard sale. This guy got some Christmas oven mitts. That's good stuff. And in here, oh my gosh, is this more paper? Is this more paper? 
This is literally more paper and open napkins. Why? And this is bingo card. So they had to have some type of big party plan that never happened. Cause there's way too much stuff in here that like looks like it was for a party. Next to, well, we see we got a printer. We know that much. I'm gonna assume since they're running Windows Vista, this thing's probably not from this decade. So it's not gonna be worth much more than a dollar. Some candles, napkins, more shelving units. Again, just yard sale stuff. There's a keyboard down here. There's some candles. Realistically, that's just the best way I can put it. Like it's nothing that's worth a lot of money on its own, but it's just a bunch of little things. They'll definitely sell for more than we paid for it so far. And we haven't even gone through about half of it yet. Let's pull out a little see-through tote here. Well, it's got another, oh, they were a coach. Maybe that's why they had so many trophies. It has their coach and their name on it. That's weird. Look at the little gray box. Let's see what's in there. Ah, get out. What is that thing? I don't even know. A star, it says, the Department of the Treasury, 1729. But it has nobody's name on it, so. Just a weird thing that came from the Department of the Treasury. And then some more kitchen stuff and some more cups. Guess what? I got you, uh, what does that say? Happy birthday? Happy birthday. I got you a birthday present. Thank you. It's some complete strangers used clothes in a hanger. Oh boy, I love this thing. That's your favorite, right? Yeah. This one doesn't even have the top, it's even better. Yeah. These are the best ones ever. Ooh, look at this, but that. Is where the real birthday present is. What do you think's in there? What'd you get me? Oh, what do you think it is? Um, a watch? It is a watch box. Oh. But there's nothing in there. <laughs> BS birthday surprise. Hey, you got some strangers used clothes. You got hangers. Look, I got you not one card. Most people get one card. I get you like 12. You got me a mom one? A mom one, a sister one, <laughs> an every woman. Well, literally, that just says every woman. An every woman one, a, a, a princess one. Yeah, you get all of these. Yeah. Boo. This is what all those people that are like, I can't function without my coffee. This is what you need in your life, right? You every know. single morning. This is what I need, but it's pretty much full of Pepsi instead. Diet Pepsi, tea and caffeine. You know soda is the only form of caffeine I like. I hate coffee, I hate tea, I hate energy drinks, but ah, soda, mm, so good. Star. Frozen, some napkins in it. Uh, that, these are like those, what, rubber type ice cube things. So, I think so. if you want your drink to taste like rubber, does it? Have you ever tried these? No, I've never tried I just tried imagine it. your drink would taste <laughs> like rubber. Like rubber has a distinct smell and taste to it. But here's your addition to your birthday present. Horses. A calendar with horses from five years ago. Woo! Congrats. Let's take this little box out now and see what's in here. Uh, more new stuff. I'm just astonished at the amount of stuff in here that's just, it's not expensive, but it's never been used. Like, why did they get it all and why was it just in storage? <gasps> There's the video games. One Xbox game with Burger King guy on it for some reason. All right. I'm gonna guess that. Oh, I would have been wrong. There it is. I was about to say it's not in there, but there it is. Let's see what's in here. Oh, in here. Is this all more crafting stuff? Okay. Looks like more pasteable crafting things. Hello Kitty. What's with us in crafting lately? I just have a oh. voice crack. Am I 17 or 27? <laughs> All crafting. Bingo markers. Like we used to buy these when we were kids, not even to play bingo, but like they just made the coolest thing to draw on like poster board because they're so thick. And I, I'm gonna stop myself. I was about to say something that would sound very bad. <laughs> Basket, uh, tablecloth. What is this? Christmas ornament? Ooh, oh, you put a picture in it. Cool. You put a picture and it's a little photo ball that goes in your Christmas tree. And more Easter eggs. What's this guy? It's a Pokino or Pocono? Poker and Kino. Oh, Poker and Kino. I love both of those games. Like there's in Ocean City, I don't know if it's all in Maryland, but at least in Ocean City, Maryland, you can play Kino at the restaurants. It's so chill, just waiting for your food, watching the Kino on the TV. It's my happy place. I love gambling and food. Let's see what's in this bag here. This. This is what every mother wants me to get their two or three year old for Christmas, right? Right. This is a guaranteed I'll never sleep again. Oh, <laughs> gives me a headache here. All right. Taboo, the game of unspeakable fun. I feel like it's not unspeakably fun. I think they're lying. I think that's false advertisement. All dogs go to heaven. So these look like a bunch of DVDs. All kids DVDs too. Tinkerbell, Thomas the Train. Uh, what is that? Chess 
something? Chestnut? Chest something, yeah. Shrek, Diego, Diego, Toy Story, and more Thomas, some Ninja Turtles, so basically just a whole horde of DVDs and randomly, for some reason, with their DVDs, a tambourine. Don't ask me why. So we're almost to the end of what's in here. We went in and took out a lot of the clothes and junk, stuff like that. Just a lot of clothes and paperwork. This, don't see that. Well, that's paperwork. This is a crab claw. Yes. Definitely a crab claw, not a straightener. Don't go in the comments telling me it's a straightener. Crab claw. It's a no, crab claw. No, tell them it's a straightener. No. Tell them it's a straightener. No, it's a crab claw. They'll listen to me. No. Yep. No. They listen I, to me. I know you guys will. No. Is this, what is this, all pictures and stuff? What is this? Yeah, that's a wedding picture. So this looks like a lot more personal pictures. What's this guy? Personal card, things remembered. Like they make, you know, custom things for you. So I know that's gonna be something wedding related too, I'm assuming. This whole guy here is all personal pictures. So we'll just take that out, and put it with the other personal stuff. Lollipops. Here you go. You want a frozen I'll lollipop? Have the colors. Oh no, the circle one's better. The circle I like one's the other one. no. Uh, paper and paper. Ooh. Last few things in the unit. Let's see what's in the blue toad here. Is that a giant? Yeah, it was a cult. Never mind. Forget that. Let's see. We got some truck. pans and a monster truck. I wonder if they bought this stuff at yard sales and they were planning on having a yard sale. Because I've seen a lot of things that have like the price tags already on it. For example, uh, 20 bucks. You crazy. Yeah, dollar. That, <laughs> yeah, dollar. Uh, what's this big thing? Is that a cooker? Warning yeah, hot surface. So yeah, some type of cooker thing. This is all kitchen stuff again. We're going to sell it all for a dollar because there's enough volume in this unit. And there wasn't one, never one item that was particularly good. So realistically, all a dollar, we'll still double our money just in the resale easy. Let's see what's in here. Well, let's see VHSs. Do we have the crazy black diamond VHSs that for some reason people think are worth tons of money? And I don't know why, because they're not. All these titles though. Jungle Book, uh, Lady and the Tramp, Bambi. Bambi. <gasps> oh, there's the diamond. It's worth a million dollars. Go, literally, go to eBay, look up black diamond sold listings and filter to all of them that are sold for a high amount of money and look at every single person that bought them. I guarantee you every single account has zero feedback or one feedback because they're fake. They're trying to boost the values of these and people fall for it. They're not worth that much, but they're still cool collectibles if you watch them and you can't. So definitely something we'll put out of your sale. Look, 101 Dalmatians is also the mystical black diamond VHS. So this we'll definitely put out at the yard sale. Pretty much everything in this unit will go out of the yard sale. Now I have a question for you guys because I'm curious. Remember I told you at the beginning they were like, Oh, this person was so mad they lost their unit. Do you really think it was because of the pictures and trophies? Or do you think it was because maybe they had been in it and they didn't want us to know that? And if they think that the person called mad, then they could have sold us a story. I don't know. You tell me what you think, guys. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new. Peace out.